of the clear blue of the western sky comes Sky King. Brought to you by Nabisco, National Biscuit Company. And as we say here in the West, reach under. Reach for Nabisco. Reach for Nabisco. The bright red seal on the package end means there's mighty good cookies inside, my friend. Yep, that red Nabisco seal is on all your favorite cookies. Creamy chocolatey Oreo cream sandwich. Rich, different Swiss cream sandwich. Yummy Fig Newtons. Crispy, sweet Nabisco sugar wafers. And many, many others. So just remember, when it comes to cookies... Reach for Nabisco, Nabisco. And now, Sky King. They ought to be at Oakdale by now. Take it easy, Penny. We won't miss the circus. Got a whole hour before the show starts. I know, but I don't want to miss any of it. Why, well, do you realize how many years it's been since I was at a circus? Yep. Quite a few years, huh, Grandma? All right, now. Anyway, I'm going to eat hot dogs and popcorn and cotton candy and soda pop. Whoa, take it easy there, gal. Remember, we're invited to the sheriff's house for dinner after the show. Save some of that ferocious appetite, huh? Well, here we are. Sheriff's office first. Hi, Sheriff. Penny. Hello, Larry. Sky. Glad you could make it down here. I bring you greetings from Sheriff Hargrove. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, we're on time, I mean, for the circus. Huh? Oh, yes, yeah, sure you are. Well, I had thought, gee, that there might have been a change of plans or something. Penny's so excited about seeing the circus, that's all she can talk about. Matter of fact, I'm kind of interested in that circus myself. Oh? Something wrong? I don't know. I got a state police bulletin this morning on a man named Pete Wendell. Seems he committed armed robbery in Stanton about a month ago. And they believe he's in this general vicinity. I'll show you the bulletin. Gosh, you know, I bet he'll try to hold up the, the, the circus. You know, with... They must take an awful lot of money there, and, and with all the crowds around, it'd be easy for him to slip away. Seven feet tall. Huh? Yeah. A man seven feet tall shouldn't be hard to find. Unless he's traveling with the circus from town to town. Yeah. That's what I thought. You mean this Pete Wendell is seven feet tall? That isn't all of the description, either. Seems as though he was very fully described by all the people that saw him. Yeah. Uh, large, heavy jowls. Bushy eyebrows, big nose, and a big, heavy mustache. With a face like that, he could go out on Halloween and play trick-or-treat without a mask. Well, I don't see why the state police should be having trouble spotting a man with a description like that. But I think the Briggs Circus ought to be a logical place to look. Let's go out to the fairgrounds and have a look around. Gosh, Find the circus medicine. You're standing right in front of his tent, mister. Thanks. I'm sorry, sir, but this is a private office. The midway is... Oh, hello, it's you, Sheriff. Sorry to bother you right now, Mr. Briggs. No bother to greet an officer and his friends? Uh, this is Skylar King and his niece, Penny. How are you, Mr. Briggs? How do you do, sir? And your charming niece. Won't you sit down? Sheriff, I hope there's nothing wrong with our permit. After all, our big show starts in uh, 20 minutes. No, there's nothing wrong with your permit, Mr. Briggs. Well, if it's a question of a few passes to you and your friends, I'm always glad to oblige the local constabulary. I can hardly wait to see your show. 
Thanks for the passes, Mr. Briggs, but that's not what we came for. Oh, forgive me, Sheriff. My late, dearly beloved wife always did say I talked too much. Always claimed I was vaccinated with a photograph needle. <laughs> Mr. Briggs, do you have a seven-foot-tall man working for you, either as a performer or perhaps a roustabout? No, no man that height traveling with this show. In fact, I don't know how a seven-foot man would get lost in the crowd. What would he do to disguise himself? After all, seven feet is seven feet. And besides, we have no man that height traveling with this show. Has your show played Stanton lately? Yes, about a month ago. That's one of our regular stops. Say, what's this all about? A seven-foot man pulled an armed robbery in Stanton about a month ago. The 5th of March, to be exact. 5th of March? Why, we cleared Stanton 24 hours ahead of that. We played, uh, Wyandotte on the 6th. Besides, we had a full day's drive. And there's no seven-foot man traveling with this show. Well, have you put on any new acts lately? No. All my acts have been with me for years. For years. Wait a minute. I did put on one specialty act. Calls himself Popo the Clown. Does a knife and hatchet throwing act. In fact, he took one of our girls and trained her in two weeks. What does he look like, Mr. Briggs? Well, good gracious, he's no seven feet tall. Why, he's not as big as Mr. King here. Oh, I would say Popo is his average height. Maybe five, nine, or ten. Certainly no more than that. Can we have a look at him? Well, I don't like to disturb him right now. After all, our grand march is scheduled in, uh, 15 minutes. We won't take long, Mr. Briggs. Well, I guess it'll be all right. Here's a trailer right outside here. But I'm sure you're both wrong. Papo is not the sort of man to be disturbed. He's very temperamental. All these artists are to do hazardous acts. Papo! Come on in. Papo, here's some folks that would like to meet you. This is Sky King and his charming niece, Penny. And this is Sheriff Larry Johnson. Penny's always wanted to see a clown put his makeup on. Oh, I'm sorry you're too late, Penny. Well, that's all right. You want a lollipop? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm afraid that's a little too big, even for me. Well, then take this one. <laughs> hey, that's a good trick, Popo. That's a new one. I got lots of tricks I haven't showed yet. <laughs> you see my whole act under the big top. Papa, come on. Papa, we'll be late. Come on, the Grand March starts in five minutes. Oh, my partner calls. Well, thank you for your time, Papa. <laughs> see you later, Papa. Hello. Hello. Hi. Do you like working in the circus with Papa's act? It's a living. Sort of a dangerous living. <laughs> come on, Marie. What do you think, Sky? He had so much makeup on. What's his makeup got to do with it? You can see he's not seven feet tall. I've got an idea, but I'll need your help. Boy, anything, Mr. King. That is within reason. I'd like to check back with the state police about this, Wendell. See if there's any other details. We'll stay here. See you later. Okay. Mr. Briggs, here's what I'd like you to do. When the Grand March starts. One of your friends and neighbors, America's great new cowboy king, Sky King!
for? Just keeping my eye on things. What are you going to do? I don't know. But whatever happens, young lady, you sit right here, understand? Papa follows for the next act, Mr. King. Thanks. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for your edification and delight, one of the most thrilling, the most dangerous acts in the world, under the Briggs Big Top, the one, the only, the incomparable Papo and his lovely assistant, Maria. <laughs> And gentlemen, we must request absolute silence. Papo is about to use a living target. Any sound at all may distract him with fatal results. Please, save your applause for the conclusion of Papo's performance. Tell the man to play. Put the next act on. We don't want to panic in here. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. You could have been killed. Never mind me. Let's get Wendell. Hey, right, put another job right in here, Tom, before noon. Let's get to his trailer. Quick. His trailer's gone. He usually keeps it right here. In this crowd, Wendell could have driven off in any direction. Larry, where's your car? Right over there, Sky. Take out the songbird. We'll try to spot Wendell from the air. Wait a minute. Why do you keep calling Papa Wendell? You have no proof. He tried to kill Sky. How much proof do you need? We'll get that proof when we find Papa. Hey, what am I going to do for a clown for the night's performance? <laughs> you no, know, Briggs is right, Sky. We don't have any proof that Papa was Wendell. The description of the bandit was just the same. Seven feet tall. Now, how can a man be seven feet tall at noon and less than six feet a few hours later? Your guess is as good as mine, Larry. No sign of him. 
Our best bet is to head for the mountains before he has a chance to pull off and hide. Once we get that makeup off him and get a good look at his face, you'll be able to tell if he matches the rest of the description. I'm afraid he won't, Larry. If he's as smart as I think he is, he's prepared for these holdups with an entirely different makeup. That face described in the police bulletin is obviously makeup. I think I see it. It stopped. Where? Over there. Let's go down for a closer look. making a run for it. I'll drop a little lower. He's a good shot. Too good. I can't see anything. Don't worry, he's down there all right. There's a sharp bend in the road up ahead. If I can distract him, we'll try to run him off the road.
down and take a look at Mr. Pete Wendell. Armed. But Sky! No, and that's an order, young lady. I, I thought I told you to stay in the plane. I know, I know. Stay in the plane. But I was worried about you. Did you find anything? I sure did. Here it is. The secret that turned a man five foot nine inches tall into a giant of seven feet. What in the world are they? Special prop boots. Built to increase Wendell's height by more than a foot. So what? Every clown has props. Sure they do, Wendell. What about this? Is this a prop, too? This is part of the loot from the jewelry store in Stanton. All right, Wendell. Let's get out of here. Look, Sky. There's more of the loot. Ladies' purses and watches and rings and... I was never more shocked in my entire life when I found out that one of my employees was a criminal. Well, I know exactly how you feel, Mr. Briggs, but you'll find dishonest people in every walk of life. And now for you and your charming niece, two lifetime passes to the great Briggs Circus. Well, that's very kind of you, Mr. Briggs. Uh, speaking of Penny, where'd she get to? She was here a while ago, sir. <laughs> My dear child, I hope you haven't hurt yourself. Hurt myself? I've been everything I couldn't drink, and I still can't walk in these things. How do you walk in them? Oh, I don't know. That's a pretty tough problem. But we do have an expert around here, don't we, Larry? Oh. Why don't we put her in with Papa the Clown? He can explain the whole oh, thing. Oh, no. I'm not anxious to see him again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy your parents toast to practice on, honey. <laughs> Bright red seal on the back.
package end means there's mighty good cookies inside my friend